But when it's colored mascara, people start thinking you're crying blood. <laughs> Excuse my face for that. Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the very final videos of 2020 and also Vlogmas 2020. Can you believe we are on the final rundown videos and today's video is the most exciting one. I think I wait the entire year to do my worst of 2020. More than my best of 2020, I look forward to what products disappointed me because I feel so strongly towards these products, especially because when you put your hard-earned money and then it goes waste and there is absolutely no way you can make use of it, that's when they come in this video and surprise Surprisingly, today when I was sitting and hunting down products to like accumulate over here, there's barely any products. You might see that this video is very short. Surprisingly, there isn't a lot of makeup that disappointed me this year. Like every other disappointing video, I do need to make a disclaimer very clear that these are products that did not work out for me. That does not necessarily mean it didn't work for you. If it worked for you, great. Tumara paisa vasool ho gaya, but mera nahi hua. Isli I'm sitting here and talking to you all. So just consider this as entertainment. And if you haven't bought any of this, then maybe even a warning that you should stay away from it because it didn't work for me. So maybe it might not work for you. So with that, we can dive into today's video. But if this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sarah. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Try to keep my content very honest and relatable. So if this is the first time you've come here, then take a moment, hit the subscribe button, join the Sarah squad and also click the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. Alrighty then, what I've realized is this was definitely the year of good base makeup. My base makeup did look flawless for most of 2020 but there was this one foundation that I once tried and unfortunately I was in a rush and I was also sitting to film a video that day which is why I had to sit with that horrible base makeup and so many people came at me in the comments saying your foundation looks horrible it's not your shade and this and that and I know today also my foundation might look a tad bit lighter than my body that's only because my concealer is a little lighter and I'm trying out a new concealer today but the foundation I'm talking about is this one by Trina or Mina I'm not sure how this brand is pronounced my sister actually she got me a couple of their makeup products from South Africa. I wanted to try it out. I had heard a lot about the brand in the Indian market. So since it was on discount over there, she said I would pick it up for you. So this is a matte foundation. Firstly, the foundation in itself did not have a lot of shade variety to offer. When it comes to dusky skin, we really struggle to get a good foundation match, which is more often than not, my foundations tend to run lighter. And then I have to like, you know, mix and match and make a shade work for myself. So this foundation, I tried mixing, matching, doing a lot of things. But apart from the horror the shade variety the foundation formula in itself is also really really disappointing it's very uh, fluidy it is patchy it does not long wear and it does not allow any other products to blend really well which is why i did not like anything about this foundation and after that video never really tried it again it just disappointed me so bad that i could not make it work in any other way for myself the next product i have is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer if you've seen my trying new makeup video which was a part of vlogmas 2020 itself it was the first video of vlogmas I tried this concealer in that video for the first time and did not like how it sat on my skin. There was no issue blending this concealer but it did not wear very well. Like it was creasing up a lot underneath my eyes. It was not looking very flattering on my skin. And the color I have is C12. The color was perfect. It's a neutral undertone and honestly it did not look that bad when I was editing the video. But it did look very bad in person. Like overall I did not like how my makeup was looking. I am very critical about my base makeup because that is everything you know. If your base is looking good, your makeup is looking good. So when it comes to foundation, it does the job of making my skin tone look even and like hiding my acne scarring. And when it comes to concealer, I use a concealer to attract attention to my features. So I use it for a lot of highlighting purpose, which is why even today, because my concealer is a tad bit lighter, you might notice that my entire face is looking a little different. So that is the case, you know, when the concealer's formulation is not perfect, it makes my makeup look not perfect. And I don't really want to settle for less, which is why I did not like this concealer. It just creates very quickly so it's definitely a disappointment this year when I'm gonna get to the third product I feel like a lot of people will feel very strongly about this and want to come and hate at me in the comments but just hear me out. The product I'm talking about is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Yes, this comes in worst of makeup 2020 for me personally. There was a time I actually did like this powder. I do still use it in my videos, but what I've realized is that I don't gravitate towards this powder 
any time apart from my videos only when i'm creating under 500 specific makeup tutorials that is when i gravitate towards this powder and feel like you know i want to give you all an affordable option if you have used it you must have noticed that it is not as finely milled it is not that translucent i know a lot of people love it and to be honest i can still make it work it's not the worst powder i have tried it's honestly not it's basically a very heavy powder in general and can emphasize a lot of your flaws rather than covering it up it is a very full coverage powder and it can hide a lot of hyperpigmentation and even out your skin tone just the formula is very thick and heavy which is why i don't like it I feel like this is compact powder which has been ground up and put as loose powder so i can still make it work it's not the worst thing in the world i would say but still when i was looking through my powders today i realized that this has been something that i've not reached out towards and honestly it's sort of a disappointment and let me tell you i will still be using this in my affordable makeup glam is because there is still no other loose powder which is coming even close like it's not even good enough this is just a personal disappointment bronzer blush highlight we are all clear there is no bronzer blush highlight setting spray primer that is a Pointed me this year all that I've tried has done me good so yay and now let's dive into some eye products that disappointed me there are a couple of eye products and lip products here so first let's talk about this eyeshadow palette that I really did not like and I feel like I did not reach out to this at all this year this is the Morphe 15s palette it's the social butterfly palette and this is what it looks like the color combination is really pretty you can get a lot of eye looks from this palette but the formulation is a real disappointment the first Morphe palette I tried was the Morphe X Jacqueline inhale and I expected all of the Morphe palettes to be just that good when I tried the Morphe X Jacqueline Hill but this was the second one I tried and what I've realized is Morphe collaborations with Jacqueline be it Jeffrey be it James Charles is a different formulation as compared to the individual palettes this palette does not have a very good formulation the mattes are quite patchy they're not that well pigmented they don't show up that beautifully the shimmers are not that shimmery it is not even close to Colourpop formulation like Colourpop makes amazing palettes on such a great budget so this palette had no great formulation it was really a disappointment I only tried it once or twice in one of my videos and after that I've never reached out to it not even to do Instagram tutorials I don't feel like using it because the pinks and the purples that they have I do have them in my other palettes as well so this palette is definitely the worst eyeshadow palette of 2020 for me then we've got some colored eyeliners by Trina or Mina again these were also uh, some products that my sister sent over the eye colors are not that great like look at it it doesn't even show up this is the shade lavender window and I have the shade blue over here it's very very chalky and I get very afraid to put anything on my waterline very easily because I do have very watery eyes so if it's not very eye safe I tried using it more as eyeliner than coal because I was scared to put it on my waterline initially but even as eyeliner it did not show up it's not that well pigmented it's not that long wearing if you're putting it on top and if I try to smoke it out it will just disappear into eyeshadows it's basically very average and it's honestly not worth a try another eyeliner that did disappoint me is the Debashi Beauty Define Eyeliner in specifically this color which is dessert. I did do a specific dedicated video before Vlogmas started uh, reviewing these eyeliners. So the other three shades that I have are really beautiful and can be worked with and look really beautiful in eye looks but this particular color is not that great, does not show up, it's very very difficult to work with. It takes me almost 20 minutes to work this into my eye look and make it show up really well and another thing is that after like two uses of this, this just dry up and like completely came out of its packaging and I don't know if I got a very old product or if the pink shade itself is very difficult to make or something like that you can check my review video out to know which are the shades that I prefer and which are the shades that I like even in that video I said I did not like this color and then it went ahead and dried up even more so it had to make it in this video then I've got some mascaras from Colourpop these are so raved about internationally which is why I got two I got overconfident and I bought two I didn't even buy one these are the Colourpop BFF mascaras mascaras they are volumizing mascaras i got this shade blue as well as red and i was so excited to use these mascaras i was so 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 looking forward to trying them out in makeup looks and everything firstly i'm not a very experimental makeup look person i keep my makeup very basic and very wearable so something like a colored eyeliner and a colored mascara is a way for me to you know experiment a little bit and dive a little bit into the colored makeup category so i was really looking forward to these mascaras but they don't show up that beautifully like i don't have very very long eyelashes this doesn't even 
even do the job of volumizing them, let alone the color shine through. I was expecting the blue to be a nice vibrant pop of color, but it was very average. I've tried a mascara from L'Oreal in one of the stores. I don't remember the name. It's Baby Roll or Baby Doll or something like that. And it also comes in a blue shade and that is such a beautiful mascara. I really, really like that one because I tried it in the store and I remember making a mental note of it that I need to get that one because it was very stunning. This mascara did not do anything like that and the red one also is very average plus these are not waterproof so these were really disappointing I did not reach out to them that much they did not show up that well and didn't really do a job of volumizing or lengthening or anything at all finally for lipsticks I have two lipsticks here to share with you all both of you all you all might hate me for but let's get this over with the first lipstick I have is a lime cream velveteen matte lipstick this is in the shade red velvet now this is a lipstick that Cheryl wears in the show Riverdale so this is why I wanted to get it because her red lipstick is the classic red lips and I went ahead and searched her interviews and her blog posts where she mentions about it and went ahead and got this from the US this was before Lime Crime launched in India this year I got this before that from the US and literally in two uses I had put it on my Instagram story saying this lipstick disappointed me because Cheryl mentioned in her blog post and in her videos that this is so long wearing and she loves it because it's very very long lasting and does not budge or smudge or anything like that nothing like that happened with this I don't like the formulation of this lipstick it is very very short wearing I'm a person who can wear the driest of lipsticks and not complain I really like my lipsticks to be matte and dry but this lipstick was even too drying for me and then it flakes up like if you're eating anything it's okay if the lipstick is fading away but it's not okay when it starts flaking up and coming in your food particles and you can see it I think everybody wears red for like a long occasion where you want your lipstick to look stunning throughout the evening this is not the red lipstick yes the shade and the color is beautiful but the formulation is a real disappointment which is why the lime creme velveteen matte lipstick makes it to my worst of 2020 and the last product i think i've saved the best for the last i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one it's the fenty beauty stunner lip paint in the shade uncensored oh my god this lipstick bleeds a lot you guys as fancy as the component of this lipstick is like i would keep it on my backdrop i would keep it on my vanity it would look beautiful sitting over there look beautiful on my Instagram aesthetics and look beautiful in general inside also the component looks very fancy but let me be very practical and tell you that this is not a lipstick applicator that I am used to this is not a lipstick applicator that applies lipstick very well especially me having full lips also has a difficulty with this so somebody with very thin lips will have a lot of issue because it's a round applicator and even if we ditch the packaging this particular shade is something that is disappointing to me it's a beautiful red color once it dries up it looks stunning it's very very bright red but this particular color in this formula bleeds a lot is what I've noticed if I swatch it over here also right now it's gonna bleed on my hand veins and you will be able to see how much this color is bleeding which is the problem with this shade only and I did try another nude shade in Dubai when I was at Sephora but I did not notice any bleeding with the nude colors red was the first shade maybe that is the reason why uh, the red is not formulated perfectly but the nudes are formulated better but yes this makes it to the worst of 2020 because it's a very very expensive lipstick and with that I complete today's video on the worst makeup of 2020 I feel like there are a lot of products here that you all might not agree with me on and that is completely okay you guys everybody's taste in makeup is different everybody's skin tone is different and what everybody prefers is different so I hope you guys respect my opinion leave it down in the comments which was the makeup product you bought this year and you felt like you wasted your money buying it let me know in the comments i make note and don't invest my money in that if you did actually like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the sarah squad shout out goes to melanie d'souza thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sarah squad shout out all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag sarah squad and you get a chance to be a part of my next video sarah squad shout out i will see you guys tomorrow with a fresh new video the worst is done and now it's time for the best of 2020 so stay tuned for that. Bye guys. Love you.